Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure and this is Train Sim World. Uh, we're on the uh, rhine Ruhr route, is it? I think it's, what's, what's it called? Oh, I don't know, we're in Germany. Uh, Wuppertal is where we're going. Wuppertal, Hauptbahnhof is where we're headed towards. Hauptbahnhof. Uh, we're sporting this BR train. Oh, I'd, I'd, I'd almost remember the number. Is it a 422, a 224, a 4224, 4224? Could be probably all of those, and uh, and we're gonna we're gonna pilot this one on the uh, on the tail end of the uh, the commuter route for the day there. Yeah, I had to, had to climb up the steps there. It was perilous because there were many steps to climb up. Anyway, here we are in the cockpit. As you can see, it's dark. Let's get the show on the road. Now, there is a universal truth about being a YouTubist, uh, such as myself, and that is basically don't play games that are in the dark, uh, because if you do so, no one can see what you're doing. I had trouble with this a minute ago. Right, trying to turn the key. So you press left click to put the key in, and then you hold left click to, to, to adjust the reverser, uh, but it's also the same, it's the same left click to take the key back out. Ah, oh, there we go. Well, for some reason that's worked now, so that's that's all good, and I got some points, uh, which I shall use later to spend on nothing. Set the reverser to neutral. Oh, here we go again. Hang on. And neutral. I've done that. Unlock the doors. Which side? Don't you see? That's the... I'll tell you what, we'll do both just to be on the safe side, because uh, you can't be too careful. We don't want to leave people stranded. I should, I should possibly have a look. Uh, is it this side? No. Oh, okay. Is it that side? Probably. Okay. Yeah, well, it's not a very thick platform, that one. I, I would say that, that passed all uh, health and safety measures uh, with, with cautions attached uh, to the health and safety there. You're going to tell me to put the reverser in at first in a minute, so I'll do it now. No, no. Put the key back in. And then reverse action. See, in order to actually put the reverser into uh, a gear, you have to... Uh, you have to not actually, you have, it's like you can only do it if you don't look at it. So you've got to think about the reverser and then you're allowed to use it. Get moving. Yes, sir. Activate. Uh, right, okay, we're rolling. It's a bit dingy out front, I'll be honest. We've got a stop coming up at Schwelm, uh, Vest, or Oost, as it should possibly be. Um, uh, and, uh, and that's at 2246, which is now. Right, okay, well, I'm, I'm barely going to have time to, to rip it up to max tempo. Uh, we're just going to have to, uh, we're going to have to ride this cowboy like a horse. What? I, I honestly, I couldn't tell you. Um, but, uh, but we're all, I've got a steam achievement for that. Well, that was easy, just put it in max speed, lovely. Uh, love a, love a steam achievement, even though I really don't care for such things. Uh, right. Put a bit of brake on. We've got 700 yards to go. We're going a bit swifter than 700 yards traditionally would uh, would be comfortable with. But the brakes are pretty capable on this lightweight electric number. And therefore, um, uh, hang on, we're not there. Give it a, give it about 60. Uh, that should do it. Yeah, plenty of time. No problem at all. We're going to have to ease the brakes off. We'll roll in at uh, less than we're doing now. And then we'll uh, we'll finish all of the braking stuff. You know, when we get there, I reckon. Probably safe uh, safe to say when we get there will be a good time. That'll do. Yeah, let's go. Activate the brakes. Piece of cake. On the brake. Cake brake. Brake cake. And roll it a bit further. Come on. See, good brakes. Can't, uh, you can't be too fussy about good, about good brakes. They're, they, they're good. And they work. 99% brake. Maybe overshot by a smidge. That's fine though. Everybody will be happy with that. We're, we're getting them out to the left here. So let's go do that. Yep, yep. No, no. Thank you. Right. Let's uh, get up and... Actually, I want to check that the uh, the headlights are on. Uh, let's have a look at the light configuration. Right? Pretty certain the train's not going to move because I'm not in it at the moment. Although, saying that, uh, you can't guarantee that me being in or out of the train is any kind of a guarantee of it moving. Uh, or, in fact, not moving. Uh, now, as part of the tutorial for this one, it actually taught you how to recover from an emergency stop, which I have to say is probably the most valuable uh, tutorial I've ever had in my life, if I can remember it. Lock the doors. Where to next? 
Come on, let's let's rock. Uh, Wuppertal, Langefeld. Okay, right, we'll go there then, shall we? And uh, we we possibly ought to get in touch with the uh, passage passengerian pass passengerian passengerian pass. I'm sure that that's it is passengerian. I'm fairly certain, but I'm I'm mangling the pronunciation as you'd expect. Good Narbund, mein Damen und Herren. Uh, hier ist uh, dein uh, Zug uh, für Wuppertal uh, mit uh, Langefeld, uh, for those who like a bit of Langefeld. Uh, uh, we will be arriving, uh, of the beer, yeah, Zint, yeah. Now, you're thinking in French there. I'll give we're going with a, a Rive, and that's that's not going to cut the mustard. Oh, we're going quite fast, and we do need to slow down a smidge. So, uh, so let's do that. Let's uh, let's smidge the smidge the download there. Whatever. Yeah, we're coming into a station. Get out if you feel like it. Thank you. Uh, right. Okay. Yeah. What are we doing now? 62. Oh no. We need to aggressively apply the, apply the brake here. 76 ought to do it. I reckon. It's going to be a close one, this. But I think we've got it. I I reckon we'll be okay. I think we'll probably come up short unless I ease it off some. Um, well, what's uh, what's this all about then? Okay, well this is all very this is all very charming. I mean, it's well lit uh, for for an evening, which is good. It's uh, it's one of the many uh, safety features that they employ on uh, on German railways to help you avoid stumbling drunkenly into the tracks. Uh, I imagine that on occasion it doesn't work so well, uh, but uh, but today it seems to be working absolutely fine. No, we don't need that yet. Will you calm down? Uh, let's have a look around the joint, shall we? See what we're uh, see what we're rocking this evening. Ah, uh, look at it. It's a train. Yeah, it's another it's another German electric number. Uh, it's going to uh, stand. You see, I would have thought it would be, be Gleis Gleis Nine uh, Nine uh, Wuppertal Hotbahn off. See, that's what. That's what I reckon. Uh, would, it be, would it be Stad? But no, that's town. Uh, Stand. Oh, that's that's got that's got mileage. Oh right, we're good. Okay, lock them up. Good, good. How are we doing time-wise? I, I think we're we're only just behind schedule. I did rip it, and oh no, we are quite a bit behind schedule. Okay, horsepower. Let's uh, let's boogie. Go on, trot on. Have at it. Well, this is nice. There's a, a nice little stopping service is actually quite good fun because you've got to, oh dear, you want to get a council onto that. Um, and uh, yeah, because there's there's plenty to do. You've got uh, you've got lots lots to be getting on with. And, and hang on a ticking. I've, I've I've made an observation. Have you though? Yeah, because this clock right here says it is currently uh, twenty two forty nine. Oh, we're coming in to stop. Hang on, let's uh, let's concentrate on that. Whereas the clock in the bottom is three minutes faster. I think the clock in the train is slow. Oh no, it's, just, it's not. It's not the station. It's a uh, it's a, a, a speed limit change. All right. Okay. Fine. Um, yeah. So uh, that's that's the first time I've seen that. And you know what? I don't object to it uh, on the principle that uh, quite a lot of clocks are slow on an occasion. That's my that's my rationale there. There's lots of red lights going on here. Some of them probably mean stop, but uh, I'm going to assume that all of the ones that apply to me are always green because uh, I believe that it's always sunny when I'm driving. Uh, right, where are we? 300 yards. Ooh, let's let's ease her back a bit there. I mean, if anything, I think I can I can apply me ease back a little bit later on. I think dropping it to around 40 miles per hour. You know what? I'd meant to switch this into kilometres uh, for today's escapade, but I forgot. Uh, so we're still in miles per hour. Uh, we're coming into uh, Wuppertal Oberbarmen, as you as you well know, and uh, that's that's super duper. There, they're all patiently waiting, uh, listening to a bit of Bauhaus, I would imagine. Uh, certainly, certainly a good selection if they are. Right, there we go. Get her in. Come on, this has got to be close. Oh no, that's not close, mate. That's uh, that's on the flipping money. That is unlock the left. Right, are we getting up? And we oh, we are, aren't we? You are so ready to just jump around the joint and uh, and see what's what. Well, there are all sorts of oh, they're not only listening to Bauhaus, but there is a Bauhaus. Well, as, as luck would have it, 
there are there are objectives that one can fulfill while out and about in the train sim world and this doesn't appear to have any of them it's unfortunate i don't i mean you know you could have put give me a fire extinguisher to place or you know maybe a maybe a, a homeless person to uh, to donate five marks to yeah i know they use euros these days but you know it's uh, i'm keeping it local right off we go and smashing lock the doors I, I know I would probably be on time a little bit more frequently if I didn't get out and go for a stroll every time we stop in a station, uh, but that's not how I like to roll. Uh, let's look around the cab. All right, what do we got here? This is uh, the uh, the Stro Bar the Stro Mar Stro Mab Naum Namer. Oh, well, that tells us what that's a pantograph. Flipping isn't this a Stro Bab Mayer, mate? Uh, that's what that is. How far have we got? A mile and a bit. What's the speed limit? Coming up on it. All right, hold on. We'll, uh, we'll get that under control. I say I should probably have the cab lights turned on. I mean, as I mean, as much as you know, it feels like we're flying a flipping Tie Fighter or something. Uh, we're not. Um, it's a train, as, I, as you jolly well, as you jolly well know. Uh, where are the cab? There we go. Cab lights. Ah, I've, oh, I made points. Uh, which I shall later spend on. Uh, yeah, uh, ooh, hoo, hoo. I'll use them to impress people and go, look, I got some points in the train simulator. Yeah, that's nice. They work like nectar points. You can you save save some petrol. You go, no, no, can't save anything. They're just they're points for uh, reasons. But Brucey always told us that what do points make? Well, in this case, what do points make? They make you happy and little else. You go, oh. Okay. Occasionally you level up, and uh, that's nice too. Um, right, 300 yards to go, and yeah, I think we, we possibly this is this is going to be a test of my theory about whether a bit of late aggressive uh, braking will get the job done. Looks like it might. Uh, ease it off a bit. Yeah, that's good. Maybe ease it off a bit more. We can we can handle 13 miles an hour by just cranking it to 100% right about now. Okay, yeah. And halt. Five yards, give or take. That's uh, that's perfectly acceptable. Good. Okay, external camera this time round. We'll we'll do it this way. Uh, look, it's very nice. Uh, what I quite like about this is it's either I can't decide which. It's either low profile, as in it's not as tall as as many other trains. Uh, or it's fatter than other trains. Now, I would imagine, given that the track was laid some time ago, uh, that they didn't go, you know what we need here? What's that? Tracks that are further apart, so we can put fat trains on them. Go, oh, okay. The end effect is that the uh, the train looks a little bit fatter, and uh, and it's rather like uh, taking your uh, your classic muscle car and giving it a roof chop. Uh, so maybe lowering the suspension by a couple of inches. That's the uh, the overall aesthetic effect that you're ending up with there, in my opinion. Headlights, high beam. Oh, we've already got it. Doesn't feel like flipping high beam. Feels like modest beam. We'll turn the window heating on just to be on the safe side. Horn, we all want to know. Not impressed with the horn. Uh, what does this one do? Sander, yeah, boring. Uh, spotlight dimmer. No, we will. We will have a hundred percent dimness, a uh, hundred percent on the on the dimnitude there. That'll that'll work out somehow. Uh, spotlight off. Oh, I turned. It, oh, ah, that's what the spotlight dimmer's for. Right. Okay. Well, let's. Ah. Ooh. Ah, specular. Um, oh, we're going quite fast. Yeah, perhaps I should keep an eye on uh, more important things than fiddling around with the controls. Uh, but that's okay. It, it, it's going to mean that we're going to we're going to be more likely to get back on schedule if I keep uh, finagling with the uh, uh, with the accelerator to the point where we're breaking the law, breaking the law. Uh, 56, we're due in. We're going to arrive at 58. At which point, I'm going to have words with whoever has set up the try and, uh, the timetable for this and go. It's just not possible. Do you want to know why Deutsche Bahn are always late? It's because you're frequently setting the time of arrival. Uh, in a, at a pace that means we would effectively have to travel back in time. That's why it's late. It's got nothing to do with efficiency or the operation of said trains. It's got everything to do with can't be done. Thank you very much. 
I mean, I may have not been uh, Johnny Quick Draw when it came to uh, setting off on time, but rarely have I uh, have been more than 30 seconds. Well, in fact, never, I would say. I, w I have not been more than 30 seconds uh, between the passengers being loaded and locking the doors. Yeah. No, I'm not standing for it. What else have we got going on while we're waiting for these? Open the doors. There's buttons. Oh, if they work, I'm going to use them from here on in. Uh, then over there, we've got the... Uh, I don't know, I can't see. Uh, hang on, let's uh, let's get off and have a closer look. Go, go in here, what's that? That's the uh, in and loudsprecher inside loudspeaker, presumably. Uh, and then uh, house blending, that's, the, that's for mixing. Uh, so if you're... Uh, uh, if you're beat matching and you you want to make sure you uh, you land the start of the next uh, the next banger, um, that's what you use. You press. On. Oh, hold on. Wasn't I supposed to? Oh, I probably did it. D does probably cut the mustard. You might want to check that you actually did close the doors. Well, I, I'm sure they're closed. I, uh, the question is is more whether they're locked. Let's go with yes. You press some buttons, something happened, I'm sure you're fine. Okay, all right. Well, maybe we are, maybe we aren't. Uh, right, okay, another point eight of a mile. This is great, it's keeping me amused. Uh, give me uh, a short commuter runabout any day of the week, rather than like, uh, right, put it in max gear and uh, and let her fly for three quarters of an hour. Oh, we've got a red light coming up. Hang on then. We've got a red light coming up fairly, fairly swiftish. All right, let's uh, let's not muck about then. I mean, that'd be a first. Oh, and we're going to hit the speed limit a smidge over, but only just. I suspect the uh, the red light in question is at the end of the platform that you're coming into. Just saying. All right, stop braking. We'll roll it. Everything will be fine. Two hundred and seventy yards to the uh, to the red signal. Um, and uh, uh, DAS signal and wrote. Uh, probably. That's fine. We'll, uh, we'll be good with this. I've, basically, after we finish dropping everybody off at, uh, at various platforms, we've got to stations, could be, um, we've then got to return ourselves to the depot uh, for a, a polish and a bratwurst. And, uh, and I look forward to Actually, no, I'm going to have a curry verst this evening. I'm, I'm feeling chancy. Stop at location. Have done. Is this the location you want me to stop? Nine nine yards is close enough, mate. We'll be we'll be fine with nine yards. All right, I'll get it down to about two. I've, although I've got a sinking sinking feeling that what might have just occurred is that I've not uh, actually locked the doors and therefore triggered things correctly. Wouldn't be the first time. Put a brake back on. All right, no, apparently we're fine. Unlock the doors. They probably were already. Uh, but uh, I'll unlock them again. Oh, well, I was going to use the magic buttons. Never mind. What have we got down here? Wipers. I do like to play with those, but I don't think we'll bother today. Uh, and then down here... Well, that's clearly the fan. Then the temperature. And then uh, uh, the the OUS hand auto. Obviously, hand is going to be manual. Auto is going to be auto. And then, of course, you've got Aus Ein Ein Zwei, presumably. Um, okay, good. Uh, oh, should we go for a should we go for a bit of a stroll through the train? I know you like it. Let's uh, let's go. Open the door. Are we actually sporting any passengers? That's another thing. You've got some danglers there. You can hang off. Evening. Oh, sorry, you got a friend. Evening to both of you. I didn't mean to leave one of you out. Uh, that was most rude of me. Hello there. Uh, good Narbend. Marvellous. And you? Oh, she, she likes going backwards. No, oh, some people, they refuse to go backwards on the train. Says it makes them rail sick, train sick, passing car sick, travel sick. Gives them a bit of motion sickness. No, I don't know, what sort of view do you get? If you sit, if you sit here, I can't fit through, shut the door. Can't fit in the seat. All right, well, sit in the seat. What sort of view do you get? No, you're too low down. I don't, see, if, I, if I'm sat here, I want to be able to see... Uh, what's happening up in the uh, up in the driver's workstation? Because uh, you know that's that's exciting. Should we check the blind? We always do. Yep, that makes you blind. And 
crank the windows open, which is clearly why I'm not doing so well, uh, is I didn't have the windows open. How much time do you want me to do with these passengers? What actual time is it? Clock says it's three minutes past 11, and down there it says... Oh, okay. This clock's broken, because this is saying it's 10 to, 10 to 1. I don't think that's a clock. I'm not sure what it is if it's not a clock. It's got an hour hand and a minute hand and a second hand, and it's on a clock face. Whatever it is, is, is wrong. Right, shut down the locomotive. We, do you want me to get these passengers off as well? I've got my broom. I can just go and I can sweep them off the train. Uh, shut down the master control and reverse to off. Then okay, right, yeah. Give me that and off, off. There isn't an off. Uh, I'm going to go without. Okay, uh, and then remove it. There you go. Good work. Change ends and run this train empty. Back to the depot, you betcha. Right, okay. It's, uh, uh, you just missed the last stop. I hope your target is the depot for the evening. There we go. We're going. Visint uh, Faren Aus Depot. Uh, yeah, you, depot. Just. Uh, well, there's no helping some people. Uh, they weren't interested in Wuppertal, what, what, what not. Uh, so. Uh, there's that. Yeah, I'm going to have to get off. No, we've, we've got two trains here for the price of one. I'm going to have to go to the other end. Right, let's, uh, let's jog. I'm in top shape. Uh, we were there in no time at all. There's a, uh, there's a bit. Make sure you use the right side. Flipping it, you're allowed to smoke on this station. Oh, I thought they'd phased all of that out. I thought there was, there was no public spaces where that was allowed anymore. Uh, right, in we go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, they are. And... Rock and roll. Close that. Fire extinguisher. Sit in a das chair. And uh, engage the system. All right. System engaged. Give me the cab lights. Cab lights on. Passenger lights off. Yeah. Ride in the dark. Th Hold on. Passenger lights off. It's broken. Switch is broken. Well, that's very energy inefficient. Um, right. Now then, what, we, what do we want to do with this? Set the reverser for forwards. Well, we've done that before, but it involves doing quite a lot of this. Until you find the correct pixel to click on. Which is up... I don't look at it. I'm trying. No, 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 nope. And... Aha! Gotcha! Right, okay, we're rolling. Get uh, Set the throttle to 10% to get moving and reach at least 8 kilometers per hour. Okay. That's 10.0% I've set it to. Let's go. Yeah, come on. That's in four varts. Uh, all right, I'll set it to 10%. All right, go on then. There. Happy now? No. No, you are not happy. All right, what haven't I done this time? It's, there's always something. Uh, the, the Panto is panted, and uh, the PZB. Let's release the PZB. There you are. Uh, we'll acknowledge it while we're at it, and we'll override it. I've done all of the things, and we're not moving. That's at ten percent. This is in four varts. I reckon the other end of the train's busted. Hang on, let's go and have a look. Let's, uh, let's hop off here. Yeah, I know, I've left it in gear, and I've given it some motion. And that's a very dangerous thing to do, but it's broken. Excuse me, hoodie. Uh, and therefore, what's a girl to do? Uh, well, hold on, there's a door open. We'll close that. There you go. Part of me half expects the train to uh, depart now. I don't think the, uh, the, the dead man switch is, is particularly working. Right, here we go. And in we come. Alright, what's what are you doing? You're on zero. Yeah, that's all that that's all fine. What's going on with the master key? Sit in the chair. Master key is not present because I put it in the other end. Yeah, no, this all this I can't see anything that is necessarily problematic here. We could uncouple the train, I suppose. That would be exciting. But uh, no, let's let's not. Alright, no, climb the steps. And don't, don't jump out again. 
Don't want to climb the steps. I want to close the door. Close, close the door. Close the door. Close the door. Close, close, close the door. Door, close, door. Wait till it says close the door, then click the button. Uh, oh. Is this another one of those don't look at it moments? There you go. You have to close the door from the hinges and then watch your fingers. Okay, all right. All right let's try that again. Maybe my uh, my comedy hijinks of sticking it straight to 100% has, uh, has upset it. Passenger lights still look like they're on. But there's, and there's probably passengers on board still. Let's try this again. All right, get in the chair. Sit in the chair. Okay, now then, master power controller. Let's uh, not... E-brake's a bit excessive. Let's put that into brake. Good. Uh, panto, well, let's, uh, let's raise it. Like the Titanic or the Bismarck, we will raise the pantograph. Uh, it's a 422. There you go. It's uh, it, for for those of you who collect them, uh, nine four eighty zero four two two five one six in three D Deutsche Bahn. Uh, that's, uh, that's super. I'm leaving my. I'm gonna close that door as well. Make sure everything's closed. Unlock both. Yeah, and then lock everything. That's the kind of thing these trains like. Is is when you you make sure you've done absolutely everything. Uh, the T light is lit, lit there. T is for door, you know. Right, and then uh, a little bit of gentle power, and off we go. A little bit of gentle power, and off we go. I'm not entirely sure what fiddling uh, was required there to make that happen, but I made it happen. That was all me. I did that. I figured it out on myself, uh, simply by belligerenting my way through it. Uh, right, okay, we've got a green signal in some yards, and we'll go through that. Yeah, and then there's another green signal. Okay, green's all the way. I'm, I'm perfectly happy to, to green me signal. That's fine. Yes, we are going too fast. I'll slow down a bit. Because uh, uh, derailing is uh, is not the most spectacular thing you can ever witness in life. Uh, but that's, that's absolutely dandy. We're allowed to go 81 in 600 yards. And then we've got a four-mile sprint to the final. I'm going to get up to 81 pretty much the second we go through it if not sooner uh, the passengers in the back are having a whale of a time they'll, they'll be going I've, you know what I've been on roller coasters that were uh, that were less exciting than this I kind of go too right you have now there's a large, large grey area there uh, in the uh, in the 80 plus section I don't know what that means I mean, presumably it means that you're going beyond the acceptable G forces that the train is permitted to travel at uh, that maybe maybe that's liftoff speed. Uh, maybe that's the point at which the aerodynamics really start to uh, come into their own. Can I push this or that? This? No, I want I want exciting fly past. It's not that exciting. Oh well, yeah, it's quite exciting. Okay, what are we doing? 97. That's the that's the, we've got a, we've got to slow down to 25 in two miles. But that's in two miles though, isn't it? It's not now. No, that's in a, that's in a couple of miles. And therefore, we've got plenty of time to make the kind of uh, actions necessary for that to be fine. It's a station. Is that one that I stopped at a minute ago? Probably is. It feels like I'm going back the other way uh, to where I just went. Although, you know, people do complicated things with points, and I might have been, uh, I might have been hijacked by some points and sent off into the wilderness. It doesn't feel like the wilderness. It feels quite built up. So, so we're probably fine on on that front. We'll see. Oh, that's the famous cable car bit thing. There's On this route, there's a track uh, cable car. It's not really a cable car, but it dangles like a cable car. Like an upside-down monorail that dangles. And it, it moves around the place, and you can look at it with your face and, uh, and go, Oh, oh shoot, hold on. Uh, we, need to, uh, we need to be braking a lot. You know, we can probably get away with doing 90 in a 50, uh, but doing 90 through a 25, I think, is is quite a perilous thing to occur. Okay, we're going to go through this quite fast. That's okay. It's modern engineering. It'll be fine. Ah, we were only just too quick. As uh, we we got that under control in record time. Uh, right. Well, I mean, uh, that proves the value of the braking system. The passengers might not dig it much unless they really are thrill seekers. 
Uh, at which point the ones who are facing backwards, of course, really comes into their own because uh, aggressive braking in that fashion will just pin them into their seats. So the ones facing them are going to be catapulted down the length of the train uh, and go, oh my gosh, my schnitzel, uh, and other such such things that is, uh, is definitely something that German people say all the time. I've spoken to German people, they do. Uh, never leave home without a schnitzel in your pocket. You never know when it's going to come in handy. And uh, just be sure to empty the breadcrumbs afterwards. Uh, right, okay, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Oh, this is quite always a 3% gradient. Okay, well, we'll uh, we'll just man through it by increasing the uh, the temperature there. And that'll be grand. I can't see anything, and that means you can't see anything either. So really, all you're doing is listening to me uh, uh, demonstrate my knowledge of German culture uh, while, uh, while occasional lights flip past the windscreen. Be grateful I've got the cab lights on, otherwise none of us will be able to see anything. I'm going too fast again. Yeah, I know, but we're nearly there. Yeah, but you're still going, whoa, 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 something's, something's occurring. I think it's, no, it's okay, it's going to swerve us onto the next track. Fine. This is supposed to be properly recreating the experience of being a Zoog pilot. And, uh, you know, and dropping the train off at the end of the shift uh, before going and complaining to your shop steward about unbearable working conditions. Uh, you know, this is the kind of scenario we want to get behind. Come on. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, a bit like that. 10 miles per hour is good. You see, this one's got the uh, uh, the parking strips that say, like, Hey, guy, you don't need to get bang on. Close is close enough. Boom. Objective complete. Yeah, it is. Set the master controller and reverser to off. Yes, sir. You off. Is that off? That's just zero. That's the e-brake. That's on. No, don't want that. Let's go with zero. Uh, right, find the right place to click. There we go. Uh, out. Yeah, whack the key out. Whack the key out. Oh, you've got to be joking. Come on, there you are. Right. Hold the battery lever in the... St I didn't even look at this stuff. Hang on. What do we got here? Uh, we've got the Fargastraum Lufter. That's got to be the lifting motor for the uh, uh, for the panto there uh, the hold on what have we got in the battery spanung that's going to be the uh, the span of the batteries if you lay them end to end over here the PZB obviously that's just something that makes life less fun uh, the uh, Verein factor Bremsprobe oh sounds great uh, Lozen yeah oh, that's boring the, I, I, don't tell me. If you give it a translation, it saps all the fun out of me day. Obviously, some people are going to want that, so maybe make it an option. Uh, and I didn't have the aircon on, and it lights up. Oh. Apply the parking brake. Let's do that. Yeah. Anglegen. Uh, hold the battery shut down, lever in the stop position. Oh. For five seconds. Well, I'm pretty sure I didn't need to do it for five seconds. That's definitely off. Yeah, that'll probably cut it. Did it? Did it, though? Well done. Time for a good night's sleep. The lights back here are still on, you know. And there's... Is that rubbish or... Is, no, it's a door handle. Okay. All right. There we go. Time for a good night's sleep. I'm going to hang around here and play on the monkey bars. No, I'm not. Okay. Um, Night. Okay, right, here we go. Yep. Ausgang! Woohoo! Smashing. Okay, well, let's have a look at the chart. Uh, right, okay, we were due at 46, we were right at 47. 48. For, we're losing a minute on each one. And you will recall that I wasn't completely tardy when it came to uh, departure or landing. Uh, we did pretty well. I mean, here's my here's my acceleration braking curve. This is typically what I would do here is I'll slow down a bit and go, hang on, you slowed down a bit too much there. And then, okay, I don't know what that's about. Uh, but here's one where there's definitely a stop. 
and you've got this kind of shelf drop off because I don't understand braking distances fully yet. Again, what's this all? Oh, that's my use of the throttle. That's not speed, that's throttle use. Surely. No, 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 because if it was throttle use, it wouldn't be a nice even curve upwards like this. It would go up and then down a bit and then up a bit and down a bit and up and dip, down a bit, up and dip. I have to say, it is quite similar to that, though, isn't it? Hmm. How many times do we break the speed limit? A bit. Anyway, I've, I've scored 7,145 APs. I'm going to go and see if I can use them to go buy myself some sweeties. I've been Colonel Failure. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe, uh, lest the evil persist. I'll catch up with you very soon. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.